today we're going to be building a file uploader with Express. Now I have a really basic front end application here and uh, essentially all it does is just lets you pick a file and then upload it. So let me quickly go over the application and then I will go over the code afterwards. So very simple pick a file up here and I have this YML file. So the project which we are building today is a file uploader, but it only accepts YML files. And I will show you how to customize it so you can accept all file types. But for this example app, it accepts a YML file and then it will just pass it and display it. So I will just go ahead and select this file and then press this upload button here. And there you go. This will have sent the file to the backend server. And then the server will respond back with this success message here, which you would of course want to style. But let me quickly go over the code. So in the HTML code, it's very simple. And all you really want to focus on in the HTML is just to get this form here and make sure that it is pointing at the proper route. And then that it has a input with a type of file and a name of data. Now this data name here, you can change later, but you will actually have to do that on the backend as well. And then we just have a basic form and it submits the data and then the data will be submitted to our backend. So in our backend, we import Express and Malter. Malter is a library for adding file support to Express. And then I import JS YAML, which is a package for working with YML files. And then I import FS as well, because we actually want to read these files once Malter has saved them to the file system. And then I just set up a normal Express server. And then I define this storage module here, which you can do a lot of different storage modules in Malter. You can have one that saves it in a database, but today we're just saving it to the file system, uh, which is the most simple way of doing it. And we have a destination here, which just defines the destination. So here I've set uploads, and this will make sure that it will be saved in this upload folder. And when the files are then saved, then I will give them this file name. So it will be the name of the file dash and then the current time. And that's just to make sure if we uploaded a bunch of files with the same name that they wouldn't be overwritten. And then I had define a file filter. Now, if you were doing something else than YML files, then you would of course have to change the mind type of this filter or remove it. Now, I wouldn't recommend removing it because if you do, then you are essentially enabling people to upload exe files, JavaScript files, and a bunch of malicious code to your server. And that is pretty unsafe. So you do want to have some kind of control over which mind types is being uploaded to your server. And then essentially it's a basic if statement. We return an error if we want to reject it and true if we want to accept it. And then after we have named our file, saved it in the uploads folder and made sure that it is a YML file, then we want to actually set up Malter. And we essentially just pass in our storage module in this here. And this will give us this upload object. We could also have to find this where we didn't define the storage module, but actually just define the destination. And that would just have saved the file instead of actually defining this whole module here. But after setting up Malter, then all we want to do is just actually make the route for that request. Now, all I do is just a normal express route. And then I just pass this in as a middleware. So when the file comes to the route, then it will be passed through Malter, which will look for the property that is named data. And then it will convert that to a file format, which we can actually read and work with. And then we just define a regular route. And down here, I check if it's a file. And if it is, then I do some stuff with it. And all I do is I load it from the file system because remember the storage module saved it to the uploads folder. And then I just read it in as a regular file. And then I just load it in and I pass it and I display the data as JSON data. And then I delete the file because I'm done using it. And if I get an exception, I will print it to the console. And if we don't have a file, well, then I'm just going to let the user know that they didn't send us a file. Maybe they did a, just a post request where there wasn't a file. And then I'm just saying, hey, you didn't upload a file. Please upload a file. And then the very last line down here is just starting the Express server. And there you go.
But the reason why I actually made a YML uploader was actually because one of you guys said, hey, you went over how to actually work with the file format on the server side, but how do we actually get it from the client to the server? And I was like, hey, let me just quickly throw this example together and make a video about it. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.